Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the another manufacturing process which is known as the plastic extrusion process. In this video, we will be covering its principle, its uh, working, its applications along with the, its advantages and disadvantages. So guys, I recommend you to watch my video till the end. So you'll get a detailed idea about the process of extrusion. And guys, before going to today's topic, I request you to please consider subscribing to my educational channel, Engineers Academy. It will motivate me to make more of such videos on the interesting topics. And if you want me to make a video on your selected topic, just please do comment below so that uh, in my next video, I'll, I'll just uh, make a video on your topic. So guys, let's roll out the intro and let's start with our today's topic. So guys, extrusion is a high volume manufacturing process into which the plastics or the granules of the plastic is fed into the cylinder which is having a rotating screw and then it is that particular plastic gets heated from an external source. So it's get heated gradually and ultimately it gets melted and then it is pressed against a die which is having a suitable opening of the desired shape. So guys that particular molten plastic is forced against that die with, and then the material comes out which having the exact shape of that particular die or the cross section. So this is basically the extrusion process. The material gets extruded throughout a die which is having a desired shape or opening. So that was the basic principle of the extrusion process. So guys over here you can see this image which clearly shows the process of extrusion. So guys, in this image, there are three zones, which is known as the first one is the feed zone, melting zone and metering zone. So inside the feed zone, there is a hopper that is the gravity feed hopper and inside that hopper, the plastic granules along with the certain additives are added and it is fed in the barrel which is having a cylinder piston assembly or it is having a rotating screw assembly also so this you know the plastic granules are you know transferred to your die and before transferring to the die there is another process which is known as the melting of this plastic granules so as this granules goes forward okay so it is melted throughout your this uh, uh, throughout the cylinder uh, by by the application of the external heat and this is you know this is the controlled heating process because if this plastic gets melted very like uh, at the higher temperatures or higher degrees it will melt or else or else it will uh, you know produce the unwanted hydrocarbons inside the uh, the barrel so guys it is a controlled heating process which is sensed by the external thermocouples or else other sensors basically so guys this is the controlled heating so here comes the second stage that is the melting stage so over here in the melting stage the the plastic uh, granules gets heated and it gets the uh, molten uh, you know molten plastic gets formed and then that molten plastic are fed against a die which is having a opening of the desired shape so that so that this like you know uh, this particular your uh, molten metal or else molten plastic gets the shape of that particular uh, opening of the die so the cross section becomes very similar and this this uh, like uh, your molten uh, molten plastic gets forced against that particular die so guys basically over here a very considerable uh, point is the the force by at which this uh, you know the pressurizing force so guys this pressurizing force is you know gradually increased gets gradually increased throughout the process so if suppose if the pressurizing force is more then it will produce unwanted stresses on the actual or the final product. So in order to avoid that, 
the force or the pressure it gets gradually increased throughout the time and in the last one that is the metering zone in the metering zone there is a cutter outside of the of uh, the of the die and it will cut along a certain length uh, such as uh, 2 meter 3 meters of the lens so so this is the whole process of extrusion so guys now let's talk about the applications so while manufacturing of the window rails like uh, you have uh, seen the sliding uh, windows so on that sliding windows there is a rail on the bottom side of the window so that rails are produced are manufactured by using this particular process of extrusion it is also used to manufacture the pipes plastic pipes uh, hot sheets also uh, or use uh, tubes certain tubes so these are the you know applications of the uh, extrusion process you can see over here so these are the products which gets manufactured by this particular process so guys uh, now let's talk about the advantages so guys as i have uh, told you earlier this is the you know large volume it's a high volume manufacturing process so guys over here this is a main advantage you can look you know you can have a lengthy pipes you can have a you know lengthy uh, pipes which is pipes or else uh, you know desired uh, or products which is having a desired shape over here so guys this is the you know this is very uh, important parameter such as you know it is a large volume uh, process and this is also an advantage over here that's it uh, this process is very simple and economical as compared to the other molding process alongside of that we can produce uh, you know higher lengths of the large lengths of this you know particular products pipes or tubes etc or else other is the design the flexibility it is having a flexibility of design so guys these are the basically the advantages of the extrusion process so guys now let's talk about the disadvantages so guys the you know the limited cross sections can only be produced by using this particular process we cannot modify our particular end product or end design over here in this process so guys that was the simple overview of the plastic extrusion process if i hope you understand this video i hope you understand this particular topic if you have any doubts and queries please do comment below and guys don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my education channel engineers academy so thank you so much guys for watching this video